fix him a rope, boss. Right. Oh, oh, oh you, you, you're not going to hang me? Uh, just a little bit, oh. man. Why? What have I done? Well, you completely ignored a no trespassing sign, mister. This is the Ponderosa. You think he was spotting cattle for rustlers at him? No. No, that's not true. Look, look, my, my name is Derwood Watkins. I am the agent for Miss Ada Isaacs Menken's Company of Players. We, we open tonight in Virginia City. Uh, uh, tickets. Oh, tickets. Look, look. Here, hey, tickets. The, the best in the house. Uh, uh, please, be my guest. Oh. Ain't it funny how a man will lie right up till the time you... Stretch his neck. No, no, oh, no. I don't know, Hoss. You think that uh, limb's strong enough to hold him? Yeah, I think so. He looks to me like he's most now old blubber in it. Yeah, I think it'll do all right, as long as you don't flop around too much. Well, this is barbaric. Well, I demand a trial. <laughs> hey! Come back! Come back! Hey! <laughs> That's enough, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet he remembers the next time he sees a no trespass sign. Hey, <laughs> look at this. Hey. Now, Hoss, you get rid of that thing before Pa sees it. Ain't that something? Now, you heard what I said, Hoss. What are you doing? Oh, well, nothing. I, uh, I'm just getting this rope, Adam. It's, it's, it's an awful good rope. All right, boys, let's go. We got work waiting. You didn't have to take half the night. Come on. You're lucky. You live all the way down to the other end of the house. Sometimes Adam can be worse than Paul. Hey, Paul didn't see you, did he? No, he ain't even home yet. Here, help me into this dean blasted thing. All right. Now, come you ain't got no button on this shirt. No, I just ain't got one, that's all. Mm. Little Joe, if Paul catches us at a show like this, he'll skin us alive. You don't ring anybody who'll recognize us, do you? Well, then I got your brand new suit on, don't you? Yeah. Hey, you got your hair slicked down real nice. Yeah. Got your boots polished? Yep. Who's gonna recognize you? Yeah. Hey. Anybody else here want to bet my friend can't bend his horseshoe? Well, let me try. You try it, buddy. Go on. <laughs> Who else wants to try it? Go ahead, friend. <laughs> hey, how about a little wager, huh? I've got it. All right, here, you try it, buddy. Want to try it? Go ahead. <laughs> how about you, friend? Want to give it a try? Okay. Come on, Slade. Here, show them how it's done. Come on. You just stay right there, honey. <laughs> Do you know who I am? No, sir, don't think that I do. I'm John C. Regan. That's right, former heavyweight champion of the world. Have a drink on the house and be on your way, Regan. I tell you what, I'll lick the best man in the house for all the liquor I can drink. Well? Outside, Regan. 
shooting an armed man. John C. Regan, is it? Former champion. Well, you never was champion, Regan. Your manager had to stop the fight to keep you from getting killed. What are you talking about? Nobody ever stopped one of my fights. Well, you've been flattened by every tramp pug in the business. Well, I'd lick you myself if, if I was still in one piece. You do your fighting with your mouth, mister. You got a friend that can do it with his fists? I'm buying, Mr. Regan. All he can drink. Just as soon as my partner here gets finished with him. Sledge, this fellow says you're a dumb mud walloper. You ain't got no more sense than a suck egg mule. Now, is that right? He says you're too stupid to even know how to fight. Now, is that right? Honey, I'll be right back. Don't Get back, girl. Why don't you sit down, Sledge? Leave him alone. Why don't you take a little water? Sledge, don't know no rules, Regan. Get him, Sledge. the show or do you want to fight? Well, I hate to miss a good fight, but I hate to miss that show, too. Well, then come on. Stop it. Stop it, Regan. Sledge. Sledge, are you all right? You didn't have to go that far, Regan. Sledge. Sledge, you all right? Somebody get a doctor. Quick! I bet this is gonna be good. You sure you got them tickets? Sure, I got them right here, don't worry. Adam! Yeah, what, what are you doing here, Adam? I'm waiting for you two. Oh. Adam. Adam, we, we can explain everything. Yeah, well, you're going to have a lot of explaining to do if the best seats are gone. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, well, let's go. Anything new tonight? Dear Olinska, ere yet the envious daylight robs my soul of the sweet privilege of drinking from thine eyes deep draughts of the bright liquid fire, which as from the twin stars of love stream through my enraptured heart. Appear, dear life. <laughs> Appear, dear life. <laughs> Appear. Casimir, thou here. Oh, hands, hands, wert thou discovered. Think for how fearfully my father's wrath would fall on the clandestine suitor to his child. What can Casimir dread, ennobled and emboldened by thy love? <laughs> A thousand tyrant fathers I would brave from all their wrath, my loved Alenska. Save or earn an early but an honored grave. You tell him, Casimir. You bring on her, old man. I'll stop. <laughs> But see, the dawn advances. The moon is sunk beyond the hoary hill. The glimmering lights are one by one extinguished. 
and the hum of busy menials speaks approaching day. Away, my love, away! She don't look nothing like this girl here on the poster. Yeah, well, let's see, this is kind of mixed up, see? The girl that's on this poster is playing a man in the show. How come she wants to do that? I don't know, it's just the way they do it. And the wild horse secured, all is as my lord commanded. Good. Bring forth the miscreant. I knew it. I knew he was going to catch up with him. What, her? What? Oh, yeah. shut up. Oh, my father, pardon for him. Unworthy girl. All of the powers of this earth were ineffectual to assuage my vengeance. Oh. Ah, bring forth the untamed steed. Oh. Oh. Hey, what are they going to do to her, little Joe? What are they going to do? I don't know. Now bind the traitor to him, and that scorching sun, wintry blast, devouring hunger, and parching thirst, rend the traitor. Oh. Oh. Lead not for me, dear Elenska. Perish as I might. It is sufficient glory that I die for thee. Now bind the traitor to him. Hey, he sure was a girl, wasn't he? He sure was. Boy, right oh, I sure thought she was a goner when they put her on that horse. So. Uh, I could have told you not to worry. They never kill off the hero. Well, I'll tell you this. It'd be a big mistake to kill off anything like that, I guess. Yeah, I'm with you, boss. Hey, little Joe. Hmm? Listen. Was she or wasn't she? Was she or wasn't she what? You know. No, I don't know. Ask Adam. Adam, was she or wasn't she? Well, she wasn't she what? Naked. Well, now, you, uh, you got eyes, you saw her. Yeah, but exactly what did we see, really? <laughs> she was wearing tights. Besides, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? Ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of the evening. One of you lucky gentlemen will take home the garter Worn by Miss Ada Isaacs Mankin. It's Paul. Here you are, boys. And may the best man win. What's the matter, Ed? Nothing, Ben. Just get me out of here. Well, I'm sorry, boys. There'll be other times. <laughs> now, how about a beer, please? Coming right up. I hope the next time you... Ben, don't look so severe. 
Suddenly I felt tired, that's all. You sure? Positive. If you don't mind if an old friend worries about you a little. Please don't ever stop. Pheasant, lobster, my favorite champagne. You remember it? I had it chipped in from a Boston importer when I heard you were coming. It isn't often that I have a chance to entertain such a beautiful lady. You're lonely, Ben. Oh, I have the Ponderosa. And my boys. They keep me pretty well occupied. And uh, every once in a while, a dear friend passes through. To the incomparable Ada Menken, more beautiful than I ever remembered. Happiness. All right, out with it, what's wrong? It has something to do with Regan, doesn't it? I'm a good listener, Ada. Ben, you know most of the story. Well, when Regan returned from England, he was broke and finished as a fighter. Even his manager deserted him. Somehow he found me in St. Louis. I, I gave him money, all I had and what I could borrow. He promised he'd never bother me again. You saw him tonight in the saloon, didn't you? Yes. He's worthless, Ada. He's never drawn a sober breath. Please, Ben. I'm sorry, Ada, but when I think of the way the man has treated you, the way he's beaten you... I don't want to talk about it. What are you going to do? See Mr. Regan out of town, make sure he never bothers you again. No, Ben. Don't interfere. I can handle him. Can you? Please, keep out of this, Ben. I won't make any promises, Ada. I'm sorry. We'll celebrate our reunion some other time. Good night. Ben. I'm sorry. I know how you must have looked forward to this evening. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. Good night. Good night, Ben. How did you get in here? That rube that just left, could he make you feel like that? Get out of here before I call the manager. Now, that'd only lead to trouble. Well, you don't want any more trouble, do you, Aiden? Who is he? Ben Cartwright, an old friend. It won't work again, John. Ben's an old friend, nothing more. Well, seeing you two at the door, I got a different impression. If you have any idea of blackmailing Ben or getting any more money out of me, forget it. Ben would kill you first. And I'm broke, John. That's why I revived the Mazeppa. Well, I understand you're on top, Ada. Oh, you should never have retired from the stage and denied your public. <laughs> oh, I saw the way those miners were looking at you tonight. You filth. Now, you look here, Ada. I won't be bought off this time. You're never going to get rid of me again. Get out of here. Well, when you change your mind, I won't be far away. Brought your horse over from the livery stable, just like you asked, Mr. Cartwright. Oh, thank you, Billy. Uh, 
Well, take him back to the stable, bed him down for the night. I've decided to stay on in Virginia City. Watch it, Adam. Adam? I've been thinking about Pa and that woman. Well, what about Pa and that woman? Huh? I don't like it none. Pa ain't got no experience with them actresses. Leastwise, none he ever talked about. Well, I guess he can handle it. I thought I told you to bring Pa along. Pa didn't come home last night. Just now, Hop Singh sent his clothes into town. What for? He's moved into the International House. Where that woman's staying? Yeah, and that ain't all. Last night, they had champagne in her rooms. And tonight, Hop Singh says Pa's having her over the house for supper. What'd I tell you, Adam? What do you make of it, Adam? Well, she sure works fast. Guess we better have a little talk with our Pa. Oh, it's a man-sized spread, the Ponderosa. Over a thousand square miles of the finest timber and grazing land west of Salt Lake. At last count, we had more than 10,000 head of cattle grazing in the lowlands. It's an empire, Ben. And you think it all belongs to you? And the boys. They're very fine boys. You should be very proud. Oh, they'll do. I envy you, Cartwright. It must be wonderful living so close to the land. Well, we have our problems. Protecting what's ours from outsiders. You do that very well, I imagine. Yes, ma'am. It's a delicious supper, Hop Singh. Really superb. Oh, you lady got sense. Hop Singh all time, break back, cook, fancy grub, nobody appreciate. You come supper all the time. Well, that makes it official, Ada. You're part of the family now. Oh, I better get you to the theater. Hop Singh, bring the carriage around to the front, please. No eat dessert. Hop Singh fix special. Well, Miss Macon has a performance to give tonight. Now, come on, get the carriage around. Rush, rush, all the time rush around, lick at the split. <laughs> He's delightful. He needs a woman's discipline. We all do, eh, boys? Good night, Adam. Little Joe, horse. We'll be seeing each other again soon, I hope. Goodbye, Miss Macon. Hey, Paul. Yes? Paul, we, we want to talk to you, Paul, private-like. Uh, can't it keep? Uh, no, Pop. I'll wait for you in the carriage, Ben. Well, what is it? Well, out with it. Paul, promise you ain't gonna get mad now. Well, what's on your mind? Speak up. Well, it's, uh... Well, it's, it's about what's been happening to you, Paul. Yeah, Paul, we know you're still a young man, and, well, you must get lonely sometimes, and I, well, I know you're sick and tired of having us around, and, but, well, we... You know what your brothers are trying to say, Hoss? Now, Paul, you promise not to get mad. I speak out plain. Paul, oh, she's an actress. I see. So that's what's been troubling you three all evening. You don't think Miss Mencken is good enough for your father? Well, let me tell you something. Ada Mencken is all the woman that a man could want. And I'm very proud to be seen in her company. Yeah, but Pa, she's... Now, don't a... say it, Adam. Now, don't you boys think that I'm old enough to take care of myself? Paul, we, we was just doing it for your own good. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And now, with your permission, I'll accompany Miss Mencken back to town.
Miss Ada, I told him not to go in, but he went right in anyway. I... Find Ben Codright. Tell him not to wait, that you'll escort me back to the hotel. But, Miss Ada, Never I... Never mind, just find him and tell him. Yes, ma'am. Adam, I didn't know you were coming to tonight's performance. I didn't come to see the performance. I think you know why I'm here. Yes, I think I do. Don't you think your father is a wise enough man to take care of himself? Look, Ada, you have your way of life. We have ours. You also speak for your brothers? In this case, yes. Tell me, Adam, when did you first decide I was a bad woman? When you saw me with your father or, or when you saw me on the stage? What are you afraid of, Adam? What makes you think I'm afraid? You came here to say something to me. Why don't you say it? I don't think words are necessary. You know what I mean. Well, now at least we understand each other. Adam, what happened? What'd she say? None of your business. Hey, what's eating him? Well, I guess older brother didn't make out so well. What are we gonna do, little Joe? We, we gotta help Paul. Yeah, well, you know, it takes a red-blooded man to persuade a woman. Yeah, but where are we gonna get one? Hey, where are you going? To get a shave and some clean clothes. This is no way to meet a lady. See you, Hoss. Who is it? Room service. Well, you must be mistaken. I didn't order anything. Compliments of Mr. Cartwright. How sweet of Mr. Cartwright. To a lovely lady clothed in the light of her own beauty. Joe Cartwright. Joe Cartwright? At your service, Miss Mankin. Little Joe. Just Joe, ma'am. You Cartwrights have a flair for the unexpected. I think when you get to know this card right a little bit better, ma'am, you won't be surprised at anything. Oh. Anna, you take, uh, you take my brother Adam. Now, he's a dependable one. He's a warrior. And then there's horse. My horse is just plain horse. And what about your father? A pa? A pa never changes. He's, he's the same year in and year out. You've got everyone pretty much figured out, haven't you? I guess Pa's had his day, but of course that was when he was much younger. And now you think he should be retired into the background. Is that it? We don't have to talk about him, do we? No, we don't. Why don't you pour the champagne? Yes, ma'am. You're a very handsome man, Joe. Oh, I don't know. Do you have many girls? Yeah, quite a few. Are they wild about you? Yeah, some of them are. <laughs> They're fools. Letting you out of their sight. <clears throat> yeah. Here, let me fill your glass. Well, there's plenty of time. We've got the whole evening ahead of us. Hey, how would you like me to get you something to eat? At a I... time like this. <laughs> You're wonderful, Joe. You make a woman feel at ease. Yet wanted. I'm glad you came. Hey, boy, you know, it's really, it's getting hot in here now. It's perfect. Hey, Miss, Miss, Miss Macon. Ada. Hey, Ada. Hey, Ada, look, I don't want you to get the wrong idea about why, why I oh, came here. Oh, I haven't got the wrong idea. I know exactly why you're here. And I won't disappoint you. You get everything you deserve. 
Hey, what was that for? Teach you a lesson you obviously needed. And if it's making, I can explain. I ought to have you horsewhipped, coming in here with the ideas you had. Listen, I only did it for Pa to show him what kind of a... What kind of a woman I am? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, I mean, no, ma'am. I... Let me tell you, little Joe. Your father moved into this hotel to protect me from someone out of my past. And for no other reason. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't know that. This is something between my Pa and you, and... I'm sorry I made a fool out of myself. You Cartwrights are quite a family. Is that Pa? He usually checks to see if I'm all right. You better go. No, through here. Hey, what, what, what about the champagne, the flowers? Well, don't worry. I won't tell him you were here. No, I wasn't thinking about myself. You're sweet. Hurry. Oh, yeah. Just a minute, Ben. All right, where is he? Well, where'd the Cartwright kid go? I know he's here. You're drunk. Well, you always did know, didn't you, Ada? Look at yourself, brawling in saloons and in back alleys. All right, don't change the subject. Where did the kid go? He isn't here. Why do you do it, John? Why do you act this way? You could still be champion of the world if you wanted to be. Well, that's all in the past, so forget it. I can't forget it. I remember what you were like, what, how things used to be between us. Now I have to listen to them say you're all washed up. Oh, I can still handle myself. You ought to see the respect in their faces when I finish beating up one of these rubes. You're still the big man, aren't you? Well, I'm all the man you'll ever have. Now, where did the kid go? John, I don't have much left, a few jewels. I'll give them to you if you promise you'll leave town without causing any trouble. you with champagne, Ada. But then I didn't have three sons to do my lovemaking for me, either. Get out of here. <laughs> Must make you feel like a queen, Ada. Ben Cartwright proposed to you yet? He hasn't any intentions of marrying me. That's not quite true, Ada. Make a move, Regan, so I can kill you. Well, I'm not armed, Cartwright. Don't interfere, Ben. I'm asking you to be my wife, Ada. That gives me every right to interfere. Now, Regan, you be on that morning stage to Salt Lake, or get yourself a gun. Now get out. I will settle this, Cartwright, my way. Well, you won't shoot an unarmed man. I'll give you the same chance you give that miner. It was a fair fight. Ask his partner. Ask anybody in the bar. Get out. Move. I hope you know what you're doing, Cartwright. Little Joe, how'd you make it? Uh, and don't say anything else about Ada Mankin. Well, Joe, I ain't even open my mouth. Yeah, well, just don't. Go on, finish your beer. I'll see you outside. That's right. My name is Regan. John C. Regan. Remember that when your pa asks. Sure. Cartwrights, aren't you? 
Yes, sir. Uh, most people just call me horse. I, I don't think I've had the pleasure. I drink for the house on John C. Regan. Yes, sir. Come here. Well, I've known you a long time, Ada. You know, I've I've thought of you often. Read about you, wondered what had happened to you. And seeing you here. Ben, you're a lonely man. Maybe you're mistaking loneliness for love. Well, what about you? Now, how long will you be content to go on running away from yourself, from Regan? What do you think your sons would say if you married the notorious Ada Menken? My sons? What do my sons have to do with it? You're a very close family, Ben. I wouldn't want to change that. Well, my boys need a woman around the house as much as I do. Boys? They're not boys, Ben. They're grown men. Maybe little Joe or Haas would accept me, but... But Adam... Well, Adam is hard-headed, but... He's my son. Yes, I know. What do you mean? He came to visit me backstage. He's very much your son. Adam. You're a very desirable woman, Ada. Thank you, Ben. You're a wonderful man. But I'd rather settle for half a life than, than come between you and your sons. Half a life? That's all you've ever had. Maybe that's all I understand. Maybe it's best I'm leaving tonight for San Francisco. I wish I'd been able to ask you before those little boys became men. I'll be checking out shortly. Would you prepare my bill, please? Yes, sir, Mr. Cartwright. Paul! Paul! Somebody mind here beat little Joe to death. Hey, down to the settee. How is he? That gash over his optic nerve. The brother may be blinded at him. Anybody know who did it? Little Joe couldn't say. He's coming too. Huh? Easy, son. Now don't try to move. Can you see me? Pa? Huh? Don't try to talk. Everything's gonna be all right. If you can see me, blink your eyes. Pa? Huh? Easy, son. If you can see me, Blink your eyes two times. Told the mark. That's my friend John C. Regan. <sighs> Fought all comers and he licked them all. <laughs> Never knocked out in 37 fights. He still would be champion if he hadn't been robbed. Oh, dirty, thieving, crooked referee. Give me a gun, Adam. 
do as I say. Reach for it, Regan. Reach for it. Uh, with this busted up hand, well, I couldn't find a trick or cut, right? Now, if you want to settle for what I did to your boy, you're going to have to shoot me. Or do it with your fists. Paul, let me do it. Keep out of this horse. Oh, you gotta let me do it. Little Joe and me, pause. You just gotta let me do it. You just stand aside, horse. Hey, go I know gouging a fighting man and no kicking at a fellow when he's down. Don't try to fight him, wrestle him. Understand. How can she? She's a woman in love. A man like that? It's hard to figure, isn't it? She could have any man she wants. As I think you found out. Beats me. A woman as beautiful as that in love with her. And many kinds of love, Hoss. As many kinds as there are women. Let's go see little Joe. 